What up, peeps? Welcome back to Automaton with Cooper. I hope you have a nice beverage, and we're going to play some soothing music so that you can relax and study or get some work done, something that you need to do, and uh, hopefully you find this music to be very calming and relaxing. We're going to play a piece from The Legend of Zelda. What is? Nothing. <laughs> it looks like a package. These are all mine. Oh. <laughs> Got little, little gangy keychains, and they can hold your keys. Pretty cool. You gonna get one of those? I'm thinking. About it. <laughs> you don't want a Piplop one, or a Pikachu one, or an Eevee one? Just with the Eevee. A lot of the Pokemon stuff that we've been seeing, like, there's always Pikachu and Eevee, right? Yeah. But there's, like, Piplup in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, but not, yeah. like, the other starters. Yeah. And then Gengar seems like a, not a super weird choice, but it seems weird over some other Pokemon. Yeah, over, like, the <laughs> normal starters. Yeah. Like, but, yeah. Got some other stuff as well. Got, Got those. Pro Controllers. There should be a few different ones in here. We bought the the Splatoon 3 ones and the Smash Brothers ones recently, and we sold out of all of them already, so had to make another order. Yeah. Is that what is that what's in there for the rest of it? Got these ones too. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's all that's in there, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, just oh there might be a couple Joy-Cons as well, but their colors. Oh no, I think I I think I didn't buy the Joy-Cons because we already had them. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's pretty much it though. Yep, pretty Super. much. So when I was younger, I didn't know that these games had a save battery thing um, where when the battery depletes, it doesn't save anymore. And I was playing Pokemon Yellow. It was my favorite game of all time because of Pikachu. And at one point, you can put Pikachu to sleep with Jigglypuff in one of the Pokemon centers. So I did that. I was like, haha, look, I, he stays where he is when you walk around. And I walked to the computer. I did some stuff and I left. And after that, Pikachu hated me his little screen, he would pop up and he would just not look at me. Sometimes he would attack me, like, and this sounds like a creepypasta, but like this happened just to me. <laughs> um, and I remember just being like, why does he hate me? And I tried everything that I could. Um, and then one day I'm over at my cousin's house and I'm just chilling and I accidentally dropped the cartridge on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, my game. And I pick it up and I put it back in and my sci file was gone. And I was thoroughly convinced that Pikachu hated me so much in that game that he had deleted the save file. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously that's not what happened, but it, it scarred me. <laughs> Guys, I think this might be one of the coolest things that I've ever seen come in a collector's edition. This is the Turok, uh, the remake of the N64 one or the re-release, whatever. Comes with like a soundtrack and like a poster and stuff, but it has this. The box is super heavy and I was like, why is it so heavy? And this was not a factory sealed copy. So I opened it and there's this like metal replica cartridge here with like a embossed like design on it. It's hollow, but this thing is metal. Like this thing is really heavy and this is super, super cool. Since this copy you know is opened. Me. No, me. Me. I'm, mm. I think I'm going to try to display this outside of the box because... I think this is like one of the coolest things that comes in a special edition that I've ever seen. Did you feel how heavy it is? Yeah, I've known about this. You may have known about it, but we've never had one in that wasn't sealed. Yes. I need like, some more. Oh, it matches your, your headphones. <laughs> it's rose gold. Okay. Two things really quick. I just got in my car to leave and go home for the night. Um, so the, these clips are going to be inserted somewhere earlier in the video, but uh, first thing I want to mention <laughs> is uh, we filmed a couple videos with Mr. Rightway, and the first of the first of them went up on his channel today. And <laughs> well, you should go check the video out, of course. But um, he he said something towards the beginning of the video, standing outside of our store, 
talking about the store closing at the end of the month. And I guess a lot of people thought he was talking about our store closing at the end of the month. He was talking about the Nintendo eShop store or the 3DS store closing at the end of the month. So a little confusion there, I wanted to clear that up. And then also something happened today that was right towards the end, but we got a phone call from a lady who said that uh, she had accidentally dropped her debit card at a subway in Tigard, Oregon, which is maybe 30, 40 minutes away from here. And it had been used at our store and she was able to give us the exact time. And so we were able to look on the cameras we were able to find the guy, got very clear pictures of his face and also very clear shot of his license plate because he parked literally right in front of the store. We have cameras that point out front. So I'm gonna be emailing that information to her. And uh, apparently he was, he was like stopping all along the way driving up north. Um, so he only spent like 30 bucks at our store. He just bought like some Xbox games, um, just a couple sports games and like a Naruto game. But uh, that really sucks. Um, so hopefully, you know, everything works out for her. She can get her money back and all that. Um, but worst case scenario for us, we're out that 30 bucks if, if she does like a chargeback or something. Um, obviously it's not our fault, but it's not her fault either. Uh, it's the, you know, the piece of garbage that basically stole her credit card. Um, that sucks, but I want to let you guys know, um, anytime we have any sort of crazy customer interaction or, you know, someone trying to shoplift or whatever, um, even though it's, it's not fun, it always makes for, you know, for good videos. Everybody wants to, wants to hear that kind of stuff. So there you go. What's going on guys. We have another trade in to go through. We're going to start over here on the left side. We got two wave birds. That one has like a yellowing receiver, but they both work great. We don't normally take in a lot of movies, so this is the only th stuff we've taken in recently, besides like 300 DVDs or something like that. I don't think those have been entered yet. But got some PS3. This is a cool Castlevania Lords of Shadow, um, like limited edition. Comes with a soundtrack in there. It looks pretty cool. I haven't seen it before. Got some cheap filler titles as well and cheap PS2 games. And then we got Ape Escape 3, no manual. We got Champions of Norath, also no manual, unfortunately. We'll go through these. We have this Devil May Cry 5th Anniversary like trilogy bundle. Has all three games in there. All of them are pretty water damage though. Got Metal Slug Anthology, Need for Speed Underground, great game. We got Narc, Armored Core, Last Raven. Very expensive for, I don't know why, like, I don't know why those Armored Core games just shot up in price like crazy. Got Xenosaga. That sticker is on the artwork, unfortunately, and there's no manual. Got Castlevania Curse of Darkness, one we don't see very often. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. It looks a little sun faded, so we might have to change the condition on that one, but it is complete. What do we got? Some sealed Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Sorry, <laughs> that was my fault. Dead Rising 3, Call of Duty Zombies Chronicle Edition, and Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which is a PAL import, but those are all sealed. We also have this very, very nice condition sealed Twilight Princess HD for the Wii U. We have something else coming later, um, but the guy who traded this in traded in some really good stuff. You'll see the handheld stuff in a separate clip, but look forward to that one. We've got sealed Metroid Other M, that's pretty nice. And some cheaper titles back here. Feel free to pause if you want to look through them. Got cheaper PS1 titles over here. Then we got, I don't know if I showed this one yet, Zelda Four Swords. Also don't see that very often. And Zelda Collector's Edition. Lord of the Rings Two Towers. Tony Hawk's Underground. Got Tenchu, Stealth Assassin. Resident Evil Director's Cut, Final Fantasy VII, Warhawk, all these are greatest hits, unfortunately. Crash Bandicoot, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Final Fantasy IX, which is the second best Final Fantasy, and Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. We also don't see that one very often. Got a few Switch games over here. Zoids, Mega Man X Anniversary Collection, the Japanese import, uh, Nickelodeon Kart Racers, and Carnival Games. I'm trying not to spoil what's on the right side, so I will not. All right, 
bunch of N64 games. Too many to list. Some highlights though, Pokemon Stadium 2. Got GoldenEye, Donkey Kong 64, Mario Party 2 and 3, and 1. That one is pretty messed up though. Got Smash Bros, another Mario Party 1, Pokemon Snap. Another Donkey Kong 64, Quest 64, Mario Kart 64, two of them. And we got Hexen down here. And then finally, got two Switch games. Dusk Diver 2 Launch Edition. This is used, but it's wrapped in a bag to protect it a bit. And then this, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse Collector's Edition. The box has been opened. Everything is inside, but the game inside is sealed. So... That is why that is like more expensive, but we are pricing it as a used copy. And that has just gone up in price like crazy. And that's it for now. What's these? Uh, look at all those trade-ins. More things that we don't ever show the peeps? Yeah, we got these. I and like. I'm testing these right now. Well, this one's good. I see this. Yes. An Xbox. Yes. Oh, we didn't tell them about our buy list. <gasps> well. It was posted on Facebook. Yeah. We, we did post a buy list on Facebook if you guys are interested, but we're trying not to take too many consoles through the mail because we can't test them first. Yeah. And so we're definitely not taking PS2 through the mail because that's the one we test the most. Yeah. How many discs do you have here to test with, Ryan? Four. Four different kinds of discs? Yeah. No, but I was going to mention the games, like because there's game categories that we definitely need, like anything, even filler. Um, PS4 being one of them, like all we have is sports games. PS4, PS2, PS2, PS3, PS1. PS1. <laughs> yeah. Um, We're good on 360 and original Xbox. Super Nintendo, GameCube. Yeah, any Super Nintendo, even if it's filler. Vita. Yep, all Vita games. And... Um, Quality PS2 games, PS1 games. We also need quality, uh, like, NES. Original Xbox. There's not much, but... Yeah. But, you know, we're always low on that. Yeah, all those mystery boxes wiped us out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What are you testing? Um, customer brought in a couple of consoles that he just wanted to know if they work, because he doesn't have any cables. Oh. So I get to test them. And then maybe he'll get some cables. Hopefully. The PS1s and the GameCubes? Yeah. Nice. GameCube, first GameCube's working. Yeah, it's just started right up. I've always had bad luck with GameCubes. All of mine never have proper working disk drives. <laughs> what happened to our TV that was over here? Um, who can say? But it just stopped working. What? Like, you would turn it on and it would be fine. And then you would try to, to push input to get to the, you know, AV mode. And it would just turn on. <laughs> and eventually it just wouldn't turn on. That sucks. Um, so that was like the princess TV or something? It's the Hello Kitty TV. That one down there. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. I cry every time. I got it to work once by touching the screen, touching the cabinet, and then pushing the AV button, and then it like stayed on. What? To like ground the static. So, I don't know if that's actually what happened or what, but. Just magical. Yeah. Magical powers. Hey guys, um, welcome to another staff pick. I'm doing a very unheard of, very rare, uh, very hard to find, uncommon. Most people have not played this. It's called Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Um, it's this crazy like indie game on the Switch. Um, it came out a few years ago, I don't know. Obviously I'm just messing with you. This game uh, was a launch title on the Switch um, and it is incredible. I've just been getting into it recently because, again, recently because of Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, it's imminent release and it looks really fun. So I went back to try to complete the original game. And you just, it's a full open world after you do the, the tutorial, which takes anywhere. It's, it's all up to you. The tutorial can be done like within half an hour. Um, just to get to know the mechanics of the game. And um, I don't have a lot, half an hour sounds like a long time, but it's, it's really not when you're... Uh, exploring and everything like that 
Um, and then the whole thing just opens up and you can go straight to the final boss or you can explore the, the entire map and the map is huge. There's a ton of stuff to do. Um, collecting all the shrines and uh, the Korok seeds is very satisfying for me personally. Um, the dungeons are really fun. I know people say oh, there's no dungeons. There are five dungeons. If you, well, if, there's four dungeons. If you buy the DLC, there's five dungeons. Um, and those, they're really well done. Um, the game is very much designed with the Switch in mind being a hybrid console. You can get a lot of satisfaction by playing a huge chunk of time or get a lot of satisfaction just by playing little, in little short bursts. Uh, it's it's really built around that. Um, I don't want to spoil too much about the actual meat of the game, just because it's more fun to go in with as little information as possible. But I will also say that it is a complete experience without the DLC, but the DLC augments it in such a fantastic way. For 20 bucks a DLC, it has incredible um, content. There's a lot of it. It's really fun, really challenging. Um, please play this game if you haven't already. Uh, and I hope you're looking forward to Tears of the Kingdom. I just got shipping done and I just entered this, uh, that package that we got with all the pro controllers and the, uh, little Pokemon keychain things. So tags are printing right now. I'm so happy I can do this in the back now because it makes it a lot easier. But I have all this stuff I need to enter at some point as well. And all those horror DVDs from the other day. Uh, there's a lot to do, but it does really help having this computer back here. Um, you know, we don't have to take up one of the front computers. Like right now, I've already got it entered, but now it has to sit here and load everything to the website and print the tags. And there's not a ton of items, but, you know, even this small amount of stuff is going to take, you know, five minutes or so. And if one of the registers out there is down for five minutes, sometimes if we're busy, that's really, really bad. So it's been super helpful to have this back here. And we actually are getting our Wi-Fi connection upgraded to a really, really fast one. Right now, we have 100 megabytes download speed. Pretty slow. We're upgrading it to 1.25 gigs, which is crazy. It's going to be so much faster. And hopefully that helps with this problem. I don't know if it will or not, because we've never had a different Wi-Fi connection to upload stuff to the website. I'm hoping that it's like lightning quick though. We'll see, they're coming uh, They're coming uh, this following Saturday to get everything installed and changed over. I'm super excited. We've kind of teased a little bit um, that there are a bunch of bonus videos coming that we've already filmed. And that is definitely true, obviously, but um, I wanted to tease a specific one. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to go live. We have our first one planned for this Thursday, I believe, um, but, I filmed my video game collection room tour, guys. And people have been waiting for that for a long time. I've been waiting for it for a long time. It's the first room tour in our new house. And um, I'm super, super excited to share it with you guys. And I hope that you are excited to see it. I'm going to upload it here on the Double Jump channel and on my Sit Cooper channel. There's going to be a, a slight difference between the two videos, but you know, 99.9% .9 it's gonna be exactly the same. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out what the difference is, but I don't know when it's going up, but it's going up hopefully soon, like in the next couple weeks. I hope you guys are excited. What up, peeps? We're back with trades. Damn, look at all this. Oh my God, there's so many trades. This was just supposed to be handheld stuff, but we got so much stuff in today that we're just doing it all now. So let's take a look. Got some nice N64 games. We've been getting a lot of these recently. Some import ones as well. It's crazy that that Pokemon Stadium is only $10. Got some consoles, some Game Boys. Um, this one is $169.99. That's because it has a backlit screen and it looks clean. It looks really good. Um, got a new 3DS, just the standard size. These are so hard to keep in stock. People want to, they're eating them up because of that eShop shutting down. Got some PS1 goodies up here. PlayStation 2 and 3. Last of Us going up in price because of the show. Really good show, really good game. Metal Gear, Descent. Nice 
copy of Corpse Party. Got some Genesis six pack and NBA Jam tournament. Those boxes are so small. I think they're um, reproduction. They're like fan made boxes. It's got some Game Boy Advance manuals as well. Moving on, some PSP. Not a whole lot, but pretty, pretty nice things. Made a nice trade in of DS stuff today as well, like Soul Silver, Sola Robo. This one is the, I believe it's the Australian version. I could be wrong. But some really good titles. As well as some 3DS Atlas games. Pretty crazy. Got a nice copy of the Fire Emblem Fates Birthright Conquest Revelations triple pack on cartridge. Can't download or buy revelations anymore because of the eShop shutting down we do have a 3ds xl console majora's mask edition one of my favorite consoles i have this one some more games i think i already showed those but whatever this um majora's mask 3d is new it's still sealed unfortunately you are going to get the tears on the side of the box I don't think I've ever seen a box without it in person. That's just how they are, poorly poorly printed. It's unfortunate, but that's what it is. Pokewalker, some Game Boy games, Game Boy Color. Sorry for shaky cam. And we got some NES, PS4. This is like the stuff we had to add on just because we kept getting so many things. Dokkan Kingdom. That one is marked as poor because it is sun faded. So sorry about that. Not really our fault. And then we have a nice hefty Shantae collection as well as this Doom 64 on Switch. Little Nightmares 2. But this Shantae. Oh, and ukulele over there. Lots of good stuff today. Really cool. Really excited to put this out. Hope y'all enjoy. Alright guys, question of the day. This is another one that I think is maybe more for the peeps, but um, I want to switch it up a little bit for us to answer. So, the question for the peeps is, what is your favorite YouTube short or TikTok that we have done? But for us, it's what's our favorite one we have not posted yet. Because <laughs> we, we have about 50 that we have not posted. I don't want us to give anything away. So I want this to be kind of like a teaser for the peeps. Come back to me, I gotta think about okay. it. Okay. Um, I don't know, like everything with Colton in it is really good. Like, he, True. He, we were like, let's do TikToks. And he was like, okay. And then just went like full theater kid. So those are all really good. Um, yeah, I can't pick just one. They're really good. So everyone that has Colton in it, got yes. it. <laughs> I think Brian and I have the same one. Because we were in it together. Yeah. <laughs> that one's titled Bromance. Yeah. yeah. That one's really freaking good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Um, I think that's my pick as well, but that one is not going up for a while. Yeah, I saw that. I have them all scheduled out because we're putting up one a day, and I didn't want to put like all the best ones right at the beginning, so I had to like you know put them up, you know split them up a little bit. That one has like three million views though. The first one you posted when you came back. Yeah, the first one that we posted um, on YouTube, it's it's doing not great, but yeah. on TikTok, it's I think last time I looked, it was three point two million views already, and it's been up for less than less than two full days. <laughs> I can pull it up. Or we know it's been it's been it's on the third day now, but that's crazy. What about you, Jess? Uh, mine is the one that was inspired by Ryan's dream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one's my other favorite. That one's pretty good, too. Okay, so I have two. One, one is um, the Game Store Challenge one. That one's pretty good. Oh, yeah. That one is good. Um, that's a Colton one. Yeah, that's a me one. And the other one's also a me one. That's the literally one, so. I hated that. I really like the Naruto one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. been that's been a, that, there's a lot of good ones. <laughs> yeah, you guys are in for a treat. Oh yeah. oh yeah. I think that Abby's favorite is the same one, the bromance one. Yeah. 
Um, she was also in it. <laughs> yep. Briefly. <laughs> yep. Everyone's been in a lot of them. What about yep. yours, Cooper? Mine's the bromance one. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It is amazing. You guys yeah. are welcome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in for lots of awesome YouTube shorts coming up. And TikToks, if you follow us on TikTok. Yep. They're all the same, so either way, same the same videos are getting posted on each platform. Uh, I think there is one extra one that's going on TikTok uh, because it's a reply oh, yeah. that we have like we yeah. we like have it in advance to reply to a comment. Um, so that one's probably not going to go on YouTube, but it's it's nothing. It's just like a blooper. So anyway, you guys are in for a treat. So yeah. hope you're excited. And let's go home. Normally we've been staying late on Mondays to film TikToks, but we're gonna go home tonight, relax, chill because we're getting up early and taking our road trip. Woo! Ariel's not going though. Like Ariel and Abby. Ariel and Abby can't go, but it's gonna be fun. We're gonna make a video. I'm not sure when it's gonna go up, but it'll be sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna go to Katsu Burger. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. What? He's gonna be hunting down Koroks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. See ya. Tell your uncle about us.